live from the broadcast center in Los Angeles. This is KCAL 9 News at 8 a.m. And it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so next we'll be joined by radiologist Dr. Omid Ben David with some information that women need to know. Well, welcome back. October, of course, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Joining us now is Dr. Omid Ben David. He's a radiologist with BreastLink in Encino. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Pleasure. I know this is such an important topic, and if you don't have breast cancer yourself, you of course know someone. It's impacted a lot of people, so it's great that we're talking about this today. Absolutely. First, can you tell us when should women really be starting to get mammograms? Well, early detection is key and um, we recommend at BreastLink to get mammograms starting at age 40 for patients without ri significant risk factors for breast cancer, which is in line with the American College of Radiology, Society of Breast Imaging, the Mayo Clinic, and the American Council for uh, Obstetrics and Gynecology. And once they start getting them, how often should they be getting them? Once a year, um, as long as they don't have any issues or problems between uh, from one year to the next, it's just once a year. Mm -hmm. And what other signs should women be looking for? Should they be doing those exams at home still? They should be doing self-breast exams uh, once a month, and they should also still see their uh, physicians for their yearly annual exams. Um, a lot of times breast cancers are asymptomatic and they, mm -hmm. you don't feel it or see anything, so that's why mammograms are also important to getting physical exams done. Mm -hmm. And of course, you mentioned early detection is key. What are the stages of breast cancer exactly? Just walk us through that. Well, I mean, the earliest stage or stage zero would be something that most times would be asymptomatic. Patients would not feel that. Uh, advanced stages, um, approaching stage three, four, would be something that would be a palpable finding. It would be something that would cause either a lump in the breast, a skin retraction, discharge, uh, uh, changes in the skin, mm -hmm. things like that. But most of the time it's asymptomatic and so that's why mammograms are key. And if caught early enough, what treatment options are now available? Is it still traditional chemo and radiation? Well, it's a combination of things. It could be anywhere from just surgery or surgery with radiation or chemo combination of one of those three or two of the three or all three of the three. Mm -hmm. And at Breastlink and Encino, what do you guys specifically uh, focus on? Well, we, we focus on screening mammograms, diagnostic mammograms, and we also work closely with surgeons mm -hmm. that will do clinical exams for patients. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's important to have a whole month dedicated to breast cancer awareness, doctor? Um, I think it's important because a lot of patients don't realize the importance of, of mammography. And, um, and like I said before, uh, early detection is key. And so we just want to make sure everyone's aware and you know, 50% of the population is, is affected by this, or maybe even more, mm -hmm. um, by breast cancer. So this is something that's uh, very important. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here Pleasure. and helping us educate everyone. Absolutely. You can find more about BreastLink in Encino. Just go to our website, kcal9.com, and click on Scene on TV.